Hey everybody, today we are starting seven days of prayer and fasting and our prayer focus for today is that there would be an increase of the presence of God in our house, which is our church and our homes. When I think of this, I think of when I light the fire uh, at home and you know one of the most annoying things when I'm trying to increase the heat in the living room is when a door is open through to the hallway or even worse when there are windows or doors to outside that are opened up or the heat escapes and it completely destroys what I'm trying to do. And prayer and fasting is a powerful time because prayer, it is a, it is, it is an increase and it intensifies our focus on the Lord. It increases the presence of God in our lives. And fasting is about closing the doors, closing the windows of the things in life that we know that we need to shut off in order to be intentional with this time in seeking Him. You know, you and I, we are called to be carriers of the presence of God. There is such power in His presence. There is peace in His presence. And in fact, what distinguishes you and I from every non-believer is the fact that we are walking, talking carriers of the presence of God. It's a powerful thing. You know, in, in Exodus 33, Moses is up the top of the mountain in the wilderness and he says this to God, what, uh, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. Moses knew that it was better for him and the people to stay in the wilderness with God's presence rather than to enter into the promised land without him. Can I encourage you today that this time of prayer and fasting, it's not about seeking the applause of God. It's about seeking Him and experiencing His heart. It's a powerful time. And I really encourage you to take this time in a serious way so that you can get the most out of it. You know, I think of the story in 2 Samuel chapter 7, when the Ark of the Lord is brought to the home of Obed-Edom. And this is what it says. It says, the Ark of the Lord remained there in Obed-Edom's house for three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and his entire household. The Ark of the Lord, the presence of God was in his home. And so his whole household was blessed. I'm believing that for my home. I'm believing for that for your home. And I'm believing that for new life over these seven days. Amen. God bless you as you start today.